banking, cryptocurrencies, and Facebook or LibraCoin are three very different things. You know, as humans, we tend to like to group things, but we shouldn't. These three things are all very different. Good morning, Earthlings. It is July. No, it's not July. It's June 2019. Sorry, driving and concentrating is always a challenge. Okay, it's June 2019. It's winter in Africa. We're going to talk about the three differences between crypto, banking, and Facebook or Libra coin. We're going to talk about some of the dangers, some of the things that we just need to be aware of as a society going forward. Okay, banking, we all know and trust, and it's been a system that's been around for a long, long time. Not much to say about that. Let's talk about cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies are an extremely superior financial system. Okay, the fact that there is no one that can control us, we have total freedom, it is a technology that is, to say the least, mind-blowing. But you need to understand it, you need to understand blockchain, you need to understand decentralization to truly appreciate what a revolution this is. Now, new on the scene, we have LibraCoin, Facebook's innovation. Now that is, we might want to say a mixture of uh, crypto and banking, but not really because it actually is banking 2.0, if you want to put it that way. Facebook is going to make it amazing and easy and it is very seductive. Look, I dream of a world where I don't have to take a wallet to the mall, where I can just either use my device pay my friends, pay shops, I don't have to have a bank account, I don't ever have to go and stand in a queue, one less thing to carry, and I can just make payments, bang, straight out of my uh, WhatsApp app or Facebook app or uh, the Calibra wallet which I could download. However, the problem with that is, and these are the three points that are important that I think we should take away from this video. With banking, we have the government in charge of us able to manipulate, able to make wrong or right decisions. And the government is a group of people that has been democratically elected. So the danger of them going rogue is there, but it's sort of, we have chosen the government, if we can put it that way. With cryptocurrencies, there's nobody. So there's absolute freedom. There's no danger of anyone going rogue. If we don't like the system, we can simply opt out. It is a system where the rules are predefined and we know what is going to happen. So that is the perfect system. And that is certainly the way we should be going forward as a human race. With Facebook, and this is the biggest danger that I see, we have Mark Zuckerberg and his crew. Now these guys were not elected. They were not chosen. And yet they have dominated us socially and have created something that has swept the entire human race. Now if they are able to start controlling finances, it would be very close to world domination. I know you've probably seen it, think I'm being a bit dramatic here, but we can welcome in Mark Zuckerberg as our new overlord. That's it from me.